What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over basically how to become a more successful eBay reseller. Uh, some tips and tricks I'm going to uh, basically offer to you. Uh, show you what I've listed, what I got up. I didn't get a lot listed this this week. Um, I kind of blew my load, as they say, on Saturday. Uh, listed a ton of stuff to basically pre-list my normal 10 a day. Um, and then recently, uh, just as of yesterday, picked up some items from a uh, local garage sale and uh, was pretty happy with some of the stuff I found. And I know how I know how it is, guys. It's tough out there. And there are a lot of other resellers or other channels that will tell you one thing or give you all these like, you know, dreams of, hey, I'm going to do all this and that. I'm going to make a thousand dollars in profit a day. And then you look at their store. And it's pretty sad. <laughs> do, you, do you remember that? All right, so some of you guys that are older know know what that's from. Um, if if you know what that's from, put that in the comments. Uh, but anyways, I it's there's so many people out there that are trying to resell, and all I all I really see is that people are great at buying. People are great at finding deals. There's plenty of deals out there. There's a lot of people, you know, hurting for money. I don't have any money. But ultimately, you know, no one really knows how to actually get the item sold. So I'm going to help you out. I'm also going to go over to revise the standard uh, flat rate shipping. So first of all, these are some of the items that I recently got up. Uh, picked this skirt up yesterday. I normally don't buy women's clothing, but it caught my eye. It's Nike Golf. Very, very nice. Uh, the size is very hard to see, but it's actually a size four. Uh, I could not see this with my naked eye, but uh, anytime you need to actually look at something, you can always take a picture with your phone and then zoom in. So even if you don't have a microscope or a um, you know magnifying glass, you can use your cell phone, guys. So don't forget about that. But this was an excellent condition. You always want to check Nike and make sure it actually has the YKK zipper on it because the fakes will not have YKK zippers. That's the easiest way to tell if a Nike is a fake. Also, obviously, looking at the stitching, if the stitching's off or there's threads everywhere, it's a fake. Don't buy it. And there's a lot of fake Nike stuff out there. People love buying that crap from the flea market, buying stuff from China or other countries and bringing it here and then trying to pose it as real like, you know, legit Nike. So anytime you're uh, listing clothing, obviously take detailed photos. I always take pictures of the zipper, do some measurements. And then obviously put in the description what it is. Nike Golf Size 4 Plaid Skirt Dry Fit Blue Black Line Performance Squirt EUC. EUC means ex excellent used condition, which this one is. If it has holes, if the zipper does not work, if it has a big stain, do not buy it. But I paid $4 for this. Um, it'll probably sell next season, but I'm okay investing $4 in this really nice skirt. Um, let's go over some other items. Uh, found this. This was quite interesting. So this lady had uh, that I purchased from, she had twin daughters. They're seven years old and her and her husband love to buy things for their twins. It's their only kids. Uh, she said she works three jobs. She gave me like the whole story. Uh, she had a little bit of alcohol in her breath because it was pretty hot outside. So her and her husband were enjoying some beers. She had a beautiful property, very, very long driveway, you know, in one of those unincorporated areas. And I did one look around. It was a lot of stuff, a lot of clothing, a lot of women's clothing. That's where I picked up the skirt. But then I noticed she had a box and these cool little notepads, notepads were in there. And obviously people have heard of Vans, but Vans family is kind of like a, um, if you're really into Vans, they have really nice um, household items, I guess, or like personal items. So I, I, I didn't have a clue what these sold for. Before I even asked her what the price was, um, you know, I asked her, uh, I, I looked this up. I was like, wow, they actually go for 20 bucks. So she basically said she had purchased multiple quantities of these because her daughter loves to uh, sketch. So I got this item from her. And then she also had these in the same box. So she was like selling them as a set. So she was selling this with a brand new Vans family. Uh, pleather, you know, it's kind of like a leather uh, no notepad, uh, eight by ten normal size paper with a zipper uh, cover, and I basically got one of these and one of these uh, for four dollars. So I looked these up. I noticed they sell for nine dollars all day long. I don't know if you guys have ever bought 
art supplies from a true art, uh, you know, resa or you know, retail store, but they're expensive. The good stuff's expensive, and obviously, Dollar uh, Dollar Rowney is an actually excellent brand. So these are all brand new, and she actually had five of these. She threw one in, and I bought uh, the lot of four. So that was sixteen dollars spent on that plus the skirt, which was twenty. And then I also picked up uh, this Camelback, which was, I noticed was brand new. So one of them was pretty heavily used, which her twin daughter obviously used. And then the other twin daughter didn't like this one. So this one was still actually sealed. And this is kind of a rare colorway for Camelback. So again, picked this up for two bucks. I've got it listed for 35. And um, no one has one of these listed on, on eBay right now. And I thought it was nice. And I had good success selling Camelbacks in the past that were used. I had to clean them out and it was a big pain in the butt. So if you're going to buy something like this, this is the one that has the water reservoir inside to actually hold water, you know, for backpacking or when you're going to a concert, um, people sneak other stuff in these. But um, I, I would, would not recommend buying a used one, only buy brand new ones. And um, this one's from 2021. So this was bought during the pandemic and it's a nice colorway. So, and this one's actually made in the Philippines. Most of, them are, most of the newer ones are made in China. I don't think they're made as well as the ones that remain in the Philippines. But anyways, got that listed for 35 bucks. And then, um, so this is basically what I got up listed. I already went over these in my last video. Uh, these other items I picked up for a dollar. Those have been selling really nicely. So here are my sold comps. So in the past week, I've done $1,000 in sales. So my average daily selling is going up, which is great. And that has a lot to do with listing consistently, uh, at least getting up an average of 10 items a day. So we got some golden books here. I picked these all up for, these were actually like 69 cents a piece. Did not make big money on it, but really listed them to kind of learn from them. So I'm getting some of my money back, but again, at 69 cents a piece, you know, whatever. Um, so if you see, if you see this item out in the wild and it's sealed, a TI-84 plus CE, um, how much would you guys pay for something like this? Well, this sold for $84.89. I paid $60 cash for it. He, he was asking 70. I said, would you take 60? Because I needed to list it for 60 in order to make a profit. But these are gold. These are better than Apple products because there are so many students that are in high school or college or engineers and they need this type of calculator and they're expensive. So I know the school season's kind of over, but People are always in the market, like they either lose theirs or damage theirs. And now they're actually, um, or they're taking a course where this calculator is now required or they want to upgrade, you know, their older one. So these are absolute gold. Now I didn't make a ton of profit on it. I only made $15 after eBay fees, shipping and all that stuff, but I just bought it yesterday and it sold. So it's instant $15. So again, would you guys pick something like this up for 60 bucks, knowing that you could sell it in a day for $15. So I like doing stuff like this because it paid for my lunch that day. So I was like, cool. And it was the only item sitting behind. And it was weird too, because he had a really good deal on a Craftsman lawnmower for only 80 bucks, beautiful lawnmower. I didn't need one, but I'm like, man, that is a deal. But it's it, it kind of like got weird to me after I bought it. I was like, wow, I just paid $60 for a freaking calculator. Whereas if I needed a lawnmower, I could have paid $20 more and actually taken home a very nice Craftsman lawnmower, great condition with self-drive and the bag, the bag itself. You know, everything was nice, but I was like, I didn't need it. But it's like, this is way easier to flip and make money on versus, you know, hauling a lawnmower away, fitting it in your car somehow, putting it on Facebook or Craigslist, if anyone uses Craigslist or offer up and then trying to make 20 bucks on it. In the meantime, you got this big old lawnmower sitting in your garage. So I'm not into flipping lawnmowers. I don't have the space for it, but stuff like this, beautiful, beautiful. Do this every single time. And, uh, you know, quit saying you don't have any money. I do not have any money. 50 bucks. All right, uh, next item. Let's get out of here. Next item that sold was one of the golf shoes with the golf ball. This was a cool little item. So this is made by um, Midwest of Cannon Falls. And it's very, very tiny. And again, I picked this up for a dollar. Still had the golf ball inside. And very, very cool piece. I also sold the golf cart, which will be further down in the video. Uh, here's a hat I picked up for a couple bucks. That was from 
Again, another garage sale. This was an excellent condition. Actually, this was from the estate sale. <clears throat> so I knew these were cool, very nicely embroidered. So happy to make $10 profit on that. Here's another golden book. This is a very old soccer goalie jersey of mine that I bought. I did not like the fit because it's kind of like, it's really, really 90s fit. But someone I knew someone would like this and it is brand new with tags. So it's cool to get $20 out of that. I probably would have donated it. It would have ended up in some crappy Goodwill bins with stains all over it from all the multiple handling before anyone figured out what it was. But if you find goalie jerseys and you can always tell they're goalie jerseys for soccer when they actually have pads on the elbows and they kind of have like weird patterns because you need to wear a shirt that does not match your team and doesn't match the other teams. So anything Roish is gold. They do take some time to sell, but if you can pick them one up for a couple bucks at a garage sale and still has a tag on it, that's instant money. Well, not instant money, but it'll be money later on. Uh, here's an, that 1952 Illinois license plate I picked up from that same garage sale that I got the um, little golf thing with the shoe in it. So uh, happy to get $8 for it again, only paid a dollar. So here we're going to go into... Uh, People always ask me, like, dude, how do you ship coins, stamps, and uh, ungraded uh, trading cards so, so cheap? Well, here's here's how you do it. So when you're on your eBay page, you want to go to help and contact. And you want to put in standard envelope. There you go. And it'll give you the rules to um, what what you need to do. So first of all, the item can't be more than $20. So if you're asking more than $20, it will not qualify for this. But you get tracking. And man, I just bought a stamp the other day. I think it was like 72 or 74 cents for a freaking stamp. So I find it really interesting that you can ship an item with tracking. So you can ship a stamp, a trading card, maybe a small coin like a quarter, nickel, or a penny uh, for 69 cents with tracking. So it can't be, it can't weigh more than three ounces. So when you're creating your listing, make sure you pay attention to the weight and also may, may also pay attention to the size. So when you're listing something on eBay and it's asking you for the shipping in information, you have to put the correct weight. If you just copy someone else's listing and they've got four ounces, or let's say they've got two ounces, but they got like, you know, they put, a, a different dimension on the envelope it's not going to import or ebay ebay's uh software won't pick up that it qualifies for standard uh their standard envelope sizes so anyways it's uh you can't have the envelope smaller than three by five by five and it can't be more than six and six and eleven which is pretty big and then um here's an actual template so if you actually physically have envelopes or you're about to buy envelopes to ship trading cards, stamps, or coins. Again, they all have to be under $20. They cannot be graded. We're talking very, very flat because it has to go through a certain machine at the post office. You can print this and then compare your envelope to the different sizes. So it says minimum size is here, uh, number 10 envelope, and a six by nine envelope. And you don't want something that's really, really rigid or very, very thick. Um, so anyways, you can pick these up for pretty cheap, but this gives you the dimension template and again, $20 and under, trading card, stamps, or coins. And they cannot be big, thick, monstrous um, graded coins or graded trading cards. It has to be a flat trading card. Now, you could put it, you know, in a Mylar flip or the baseball cards. You can put them in, you know, card holders that are, you know, that'll seal it. And then you probably want to put some, um, uh, you either want to, like, wrap it inside there or you want to put some painter's tape so that the card doesn't go flying out and it won't allow moisture in. Because again, it, the weather could be crappy that day. You don't want someone opening up their package that's soaking wet and then they get to their card and it's completely soaked and drenched and then they want a refund, right? Right, Arnold? We don't want to give refunds. I would like to have a refund. Can I get a refund? Yes, I would like to have a refund. And then you would have no money. I do not have any money. <laughs> All right. And anyways, so that's how the standard uh, flat rate envelope works. I know I did a video on it before, but again, 69 cents. What was the other one? 80 something, 84 cents or 70 something cents. And then a $1.25. Um, and I, I just sold, uh, I just sold uh, an item that uh, qualified for that. Uh, hold on. Items for sale here. Yeah. These two. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's super weird. 
So I, I did sell some two coins, but it doesn't show up on my sales history here. That's interesting. Well, anyways, I just shipped it. Um, here is that Wedgwood made in England uh, porcelain or chi bone china clock. Very, very cool clock that I tested. So super happy. Again, I wish I bought 100 of these. This, I got this for a dollar. Beautiful condition and was able to turn that dollar into $20. So if you see any cool looking clocks like this that, again, don't have cracks or in excellent condition, pick them up. Now, if this had damage on it, I wouldn't have picked it up because, dude, who wants a damaged you know, anything piece of porcelain. Again, I always say this in my videos, but don't sleep on the uh, scents here. So it is autumn now. So these are flying off the shelf. This is pumpkin. And if you guys notice, when you go to your grocery store, everything is pumpkin, pumpkin spice, pumpkin this, pumpkin that. And I noticed too, they're starting to push the peppermint quite, quite early. So, uh, but you know, when, when your Starbucks or your Dunkin' Donuts and your coffee shops are now offering pumpkin, pumpkins in season. So obviously, finding any scents that are pumpkin that are retired, you can make some good money. And again, I picked these up for a buck a piece. So this particular person bought uh, three sets. So they bought six total. So that was a nice sale. Uh, and I you know, was able to make some money on that. Uh, here's some shorts that sold. Again, my daughters were gonna donate these. I turned that uh, short with you know quick listing under two minutes and got eight bucks. So probably got $6 out of it. Here's some pants, got $10 out of it. And here's that golf thing. So this is really weird though. This is not showing you guys what actually is sold. So I don't know what, what eBay is doing nowadays. So let's go uh, into my actual store because I'm noticing I'm missing a lot of sales here. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to selling. Let me close some of these here. Yeah, here are my sales. So let's go to the last seven days. See, $1,000, $997.52. I have 1,500 items listed and my sales are up 81% in the last 30 days. So again, guys, if you list consistently, good stuff, um, even stuff that might take some time to sell, uh, it, you'll, you'll be all right. You'll be quite all right. All right, so let's go to my orders here. All right. So again, those are the, the Bitcoin and the Dogecoin copper coins. Again, I use the standard flat rate envelope. I made $3 in those, picked these up for a couple bucks back in the day. <clears throat> here, yeah, here I sold three. So it's weird. It shows, see, $48. So basically had $6 into this item and turned it into 48. That's awesome. And again, they got to be brand new. Like don't sell like used stuff. Um, yeah, that is weird. Anyways, I think I'm missing some sales or maybe I'm just losing my mind or a little bit of both. <laughs> so let's let's go back into uh, sold items here. So we, and again, another way to check. So if you're listening to another YouTuber and they're like, you know, they're telling you one thing or they sometimes they don't even put the description of the store uh, in, in the description of the video. So you just want to go find one of their items, go to sellers, other items. If they have a store, it's annoying. It's hard to tell what they're actually doing. So just like type something in there. So I type Morgan and mine, and then it'll show you everything that I have listed. And, and then you want to go to um, basically most, most recently listed here. So newly listed. There we go. All right. And then to pick up someone's sales, you just go to sold and ended recently. So again, it's weird. Like it doesn't show the coins I just sold. It is missing some sales, but whatever. So we'll keep going. So uh, here's the little golf cart I sold for $16. That was sweet. Again, pick that up for a buck. Again, if you see these little items here and they're made out of porcelain or, you know, some some type of ceramic, this one actually has the, the label on the bottom, uh, but the golf shoe did not, although the golf shoe had a little golf ball in it. So it's the same style. Just grab it. These things sell because people love golf. And especially if you can pick up for a dollar, uh, this is another silver spoon that I picked up from and I've shown in my prior videos. This one was cool. It has Mount Rushmore on it. Really nice patina. Don't clean these spoons either. So if they have this patina on it, do not clean them. People like the patina. So people like when they see, you know, toning 
like toning's cool don't clean it don't make it all like silvery shiny plus it'll like wear off some of the stuff and it might show more blemishes on it don't clean it now i did clean one as an experiment that one is not sold and that i'm fine with because that one was crappy and i'm probably gonna just bring it in uh to my local coin shop and get four bucks out of it but if you find something that actually has sterling on it so it's made out of sterling silver even a little souvenir spoon and you can pick them up for under a dollar these things are worth four dollars cash money you can literally i could have forex my money not even bothered listing on ebay just taking it straight to my local coin shop and i would have got four dollars a spoon silver's up guys silver's up to 31 dollars. so again it has to say sterling on it and if you can't see and you're at a garage sale why don't you have well and you didn't bring your uh, glasses or your cheaters whatever you call them use your cell phone and then zoom in on your cell phone don't pass up on something just because you can't see for your older for your older folks or your folks that just can't see i can still see <laughs> but if you notice on that nike golf short i couldn't see that so i had to really zoom in uh, this calculator was given to me for free. That was part of the sale where I picked up these dollar items. Uh, this was in their free bucket. I was like, wow, really? Free calculators? I've sold all the free calculators. I think I have one left, but these were not worth really any money. So again, I probably should have donated them, but whatever. I wanted to experiment, try it, see what they sell for. And then I looked them up. They're like, oh, used ones are only like five bucks, but they're all fully functional. Um, old BMW magazines. People love BMW. People love sealed things. So why would someone spend $20 on a sealed magazine? Well, chances are they own a 2007 M3 and this is when it first came out. So BMW Magazine, I'm not sure if they still make it, but BMW Magazine did a really good job of marketing to BMW enthusiasts, meaning people that had owned BMWs and they would send you a magazine. You had to subscribe to it, I believe. I don't think it came for free. Maybe it came for free, but I don't know if they do this anymore, but regardless, this was sealed. And chances are the guy that bought this owns this car. So it's very, very cool when you own a car and you're really into it or you you just bought the car. It's really cool to see the very first articles and the beautiful print jobs, um, uh, the information that they give you uh, with, with BMW. So that was cool to sell it for 20 bucks. And I found that. I found that in my office. So obviously I've had BMWs all my life and I had found this sealed i opened it up i was like wow i got three brand new magazines in there so it's really cool to get 20 bucks out of that um this black hawks hat was really really nice as far as build quality but man it definitely was used a lot i did try and clean this up as best i could with um i've got like the special brush that i used to clean off some of uh, the shoes you know professional brush that's not too harsh and um was not able to get this fully cleaned you can put hats in the washing machine you can then dry them um, sometimes it does screw up the integrity a little bit um, i probably should have done that with this but i always try and wash them first by hand to see how they turn out after they drop but this one obviously needs one of those full blown baths so i didn't want to mess with it anymore so i was happy to get ten dollars out of it but in the future i probably won't pay two dollars for something like that i'll just pass for for condition purposes um, McDonald's old Legos. So McDonald's Happy Meal Toys did these like Lego type um, figurines here. And I just lotted them up, sold it for 10 bucks. Again, got these for like a quarter a piece at a garage sale back in June. Here's some more Glade Sense that sold uh, a refill here in the Nutcracker. I think I've got four of those left again. If you see these for a dollar, brand new sealed, grab it. Uh, this I knew was going to sell around Halloween. This is very cool. So this is Crystal Head Vodka. Uh, I bought this set. I'm, I don't really drink, but I bought this set <clears throat> um, because I thought it was cool. And I, I I thought it was so cool where I kept the box and it literally was in my office for many, many, many years. Um, but this is really cool. Very nice, high quality shot glasses. And that skull is cool. So someone's going to use this for uh, Halloween, probably to share some cocktails. But just just cool and it's empty all right we don't sell alcohol on ebay we're not allowed to but you are allowed to sell empty glasses so if you see any empty glasses uh, or cool stuff like this um look at that i got 40 dollars for it that was so cool um and again that was literally sitting on a shelf in my office forever um, i did find an old smoke detector that i purchased um this was the only one i could not reach in my old house 
And I was like, wow, this is still good. And I was really surprised that these still sell. So people still like the older style because they want to match that. Um, it's never been used. I did test it to make sure it worked. The day I listed it, I got $18.95. So if you see smoke detectors that are brand new, not used, brand new smoke detectors with packaging and someone selling them for a buck, they're instant $18.95. You can easily, easily make good money on those. Um, here's the old Bob Shins uh, Crab House that's local here to Wheeling, Illinois. Uh, this at one point in time was the number one revenue restaurant in the entire in the United States. And these are so cool. These are from the 90s. Again, I picked this up from that garage sale guy who picked it up from a guy that um, worked at Goodwill. And this, these are all brand new sealed. So I have a lot of these that I picked up for pennies. And I so far I've sold two. But literally the pennies I've invested in this because retro is very, very cool. Um, this is super thin, easy to ship. Um, I'll sit on these as long as I can. But I've already made my money back uh, from selling two of them. So that that's how the guy was too. He's like, dude, I got to get rid of these. You sell two of them, you get your money back. The rest is pure profit. So can't wait for more of those to sell. And here's the calculator that I got for free. Uh, the Chevy truck cat sold. That was cool. Again, uh, I love picking up hats even if they're you know they're a little dusty but this one still had the tags on it again i picked that up from that same garage sale i paid three i think i paid two or three dollars for this so it was very cool to turn that into some quick money uh beautiful morgan silver dollar i do go to my local coin shop every now and then when i've got a thousand dollars to spend on coins so as my inventory sells off i have to go back but this was a beautiful coin and uh this guy vince always buys for me so i appreciate it vince i think he's bought like seven or eight coins for me over the years. So you'll get fans too. If you do a good job listing high quality stuff like that and you uh, collector trusts you, um, you'll you'll get the same buyer, you know, you'll get a repeat buyer. Uh, this was my favorite Cookie Monster book growing up. So that was cool to pick that up at the grad sale. Again, 69 cents invested in it. And then again, when you're picking up these ducks, books, make sure they don't have writing inside of them. If they do, just leave them. And then this little um, jar here with the hummingbird sold really, really fast. Again, that was a dollar. That's a cool little piece and an old Belgium coin from the uh, 1916. Very, very cool. I made these out of zinc, believe it or not. So that was cool to get $16 out of that. Some old jeans and we got this big snowman here uh, and then that Avon owl and then some coins and then the CD. So I think I've already gone over those. Let's see. Yeah, September 9th. It's going back. What? Uh, six days so don't sleep on cds 64 dollars for the cd uh this guy did uh send me a message saying it had some scratches on it so i asked him like how much is it going to cost to go to your local place to buff it out and he's like 12 bucks i gave him a 15 dollar refund because i didn't want a 64 dollar cd coming back and then old stuff don't 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 sleep on this stuff if you see these tags on it you will um these tags here are easily you can easily figure out what they are so anyways, guys, appreciate you guys watching my channel as always uh, here to help you guys out. And uh, hopefully you learned something today with the standard flat rate envelope uh, through eBay. And uh, again, I don't want to hear this excuse. I do not have any money. So let's get you going on uh, eBay and uh, appreciate you guys watching. Let me know in the comments uh, if you've had any success, find anything cool this week. All right. I'll talk to you in the next one.